Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I, a cigarette smoker, am going to be using On for the first time. But what is On? Well, On is a brand of tobacco leaf free nicotine pouches that do indeed use nicotine derived from tobacco. But as said, there's no tobacco leaf inside any of these pouches, making them distinctly a nicotine pouch, not snus. On as a brand was first introduced in the United States in the mid 2010s, and currently the brand is produced by Helix Innovations, which is a subsidiary of Altria, which also owns Philip Morse, which makes brands like, let's say, Marlboro. And overall, I've heard a lot of good things about On as a whole. I've also seen a ton of advertisements for this brand at gas stations in my local area. It really is a little bit crazy just how many ads I see for this brand. But the ads weren't what made me want to buy this pack of uh, nicotine pouches right here. What made me want to buy this pack of nicotine pouches was actually a comment on this channel. I saw a comment that said, hey man, you should really try on. It hits faster and harder than Zin and Snus, and I think you're gonna love it. And that got me really interested in on, I ain't gonna lie y'all, because that's been one of my main complaints with Snus and nicotine pouches. It hits, but it doesn't hit super fast kind of thing. It takes a fat minute to hit in all honesty, and when it does hit, it's more of a slow burning buzz rather than something a little bit more intense like a cigarette. I've been looking for a nicotine pouch that hits a little bit more like a cigarette, and while I don't think this is going to hit exactly like a cigarette, of course, if it can hit just a little bit more like a cigarette than Zin or any snus I've tried before, then I will certainly have no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But today, I decided to pick up some eight milligram on to ensure that I get that really, really, really nice intense buzz. I was like, okay, they make two milligram, four milligram, and eight milligram in the United States to ensure I get the biggest buzz. I should probably just go ahead and get the strongest one. I think it's probably gonna kick my ass just a little bit, I will admit, but nonetheless, I certainly am quite excited to let you guys know what I think of, well, on, of course. I also decided to pick up uh, the mint uh, just just simply because it's it's a basic flavor kind of thing. They have other flavors such as like coffee, citrus. There's like an original flavor or something like that kind of thing. I don't know what that means in all honesty. I just decided to go for the mint just because it's a base level flavor that I'm probably going to like more so than not. I'm not really a coffee person, so I decided to opt against the coffee flavor and citrus. I was like, I don't know how good that's going to be. So I just went for the basic mint, which I figure is probably the top seller uh, in flavors of the on brand, if I had to guess at least. Overall, as I'm sure you guys can tell, I am quite excited to, well, let you guys know what I think of On after trying it for the first time, and I'm just looking forward to letting you guys know what I think of it while I still have it in my lip as well. I am expecting, since it is so strong, to burn a decent amount, that is for sure, but I'm also expecting a pretty good buzz, so I'm expecting to have no complaints on my behalf. I hope at least. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this uh, thing of th this this thing, this uh, pack. It's not really a pack, is it? It's more like a box. Let's go ahead and get this box of on all opened up. And let's go ahead and go ahead and get one of the pouches out and just go ahead and take a look at what it looks like before I go ahead and stick it in my mouth. If I can get this open. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. This plastic wrap took me a little bit. Definitely childproof plastic wrap there. Definitely confused me just a little bit. How do I open this now? This is always the most difficult thing about, this is always the most difficult thing about new nicotine pouches and stuff is just how to open it. I think it says open here. So how do I open? It says, op it says open here. So I need to lift that lid up, I assume. Oh, okay. I think I see. Okay. So, oh, okay. Wait. There's two sides. Oh, okay, I see. So there's a disposal on this side and there's the actual pouches on this side. Let's see if I can get this opened up. Okay, I'm actually I'm actually just chewing that off trying to use my teeth. I don't really have any fingernails, I will admit. My fingernails are quite short, so I might I might get my knife out to get this opened up in all honesty. I might get my knife out cuz I am really bad about opening this sort of stuff. I'm probably making it way too complex, I will admit, but it is what it is kind of thing. It is what it is. I got my CRKT uh, M1601KS with me today. It's a pretty good knife if I do say so myself. Uh, let's go ahead and see if I can get this all opened up though and make sure I also don't 
cut myself while trying to do that. And there we go. Uh, got it all opened up, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. There we go. There are all of the on. I'm just going to go ahead and close this up. Oh, wow. There was a bunch of powder in there. Oh, wow. Well. I guess that's just what is in the pouch, and I guess some of it just leaked out or something like that kind of thing. I'm just going to go ahead and close that up real quick, and I'm just going to go ahead and open up the other side just to take a look at what the disposal looks like. So let's just get that opened up as well. And oh wow, the disposal is really small, so that's all you get for the disposal. Interesting, I was expecting it to just be like half and half, but no, that is interesting. And compared to other, uh, I read one thing about why people like on kind of thing, because I did a little bit of research to find out why people like on kind of thing, and I, find, I found it really amusing. One of the things people like about on is just how small the box is. Apparently, they really like the discreetness of it, whereas other nicotine pouches tend to have a little bit of a bigger box. I found that pretty amusing, I can lie, but it is something that is handy. I do like the smaller box, that is for sure. Um, but let's go ahead and get this opened up once again. I think I might need to use my knife again, so let's go ahead and try that again. There we go. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just put that down on my leg and I am going to go ahead and put my knife back down and I'm gonna go ahead, oh, there's a bunch of powder like on the inside of this box. That is for sure. I wouldn't want to have that powder all over the inside of my car. Car, I'm glad I'm. I'm glad I'm not. I'm glad I'm not inside my car right now, man. If I had that in my car, I got pulled over, man. They would be searching my car for no reason, kind of thing. That is for sure. It definitely looks like something else, and I just dropped one of the nicotine pouches on the ground. It's got a little bit of dirt on it. <laughs> 10 second rule though, it's going back in the box. You know what I'm saying? It's going back in the box. Um, let's just go ahead and take a look at the pouch real quick though. And this is definitely a little bit smaller than Snus I feel like that I'm used to kind of thing. I feel like it's a little bit smaller and it's definitely got a little bit more wiggle room to it as well. I wanna say, I've tried Zin before. It's been a minute since I last had Zin though, I will admit. I wanna say the Zin pouches are a little bit bigger than this. I think they also last a little bit longer. Apparently on lasts for around about, I wanna say 20 minutes kind of thing. So you're supposed to be able to enjoy it for up to 20 minutes. I think on, I think uh, Zin, did I say on or Zin? On is about 20 minutes kind of thing. And I think Zin might be a little bit longer. Um, and then Snus, definitely a little bit bigger than this pouch. This is actually really, really, really small in all honesty. There's no branding on it or anything like that kind of thing, of course. But without further ado, I do suppose, so let's just go ahead. And it does also smell a little bit like mint. I can't complain, that is for sure. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and start drying out my lip real quick. And after that, let's go ahead and um, stick this in and go ahead and just see how good or how bad it actually is. It's been a while since I last used a nicotine pouch. So, Took me a minute to get it in there, but I got it in there, you know what I'm saying? And right off the bat, not much going on, you know what I'm saying? Not much going on. There's a bug that got stuck to me. I had to just brush it off kind of thing. Uh, right, right off the bat, not too much going on. I'm not really getting too much of a flavor. It's just kind of, uh, I feel like I just stuck a piece of plastic in my mouth kind of thing. That's kind of how it feels at the moment. And right off the bat, now that I've just said that, it is actually starting to burn. Yeah, it's actually starting to burn. Now, from what I read, the... Um, the powder inside the pouches are a little bit less tightly packed than um, Zin. So it starts hitting a, a little bit faster. That's kind of my thought process at least. So yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely uh, starting to, uh, it's definitely starting to burn right off the bat kind of thing, which is definitely uh, not something that happens as fast as if you do it with, as if you use snus or something like that kind of thing. Definitely all of the snus I've used before takes like a solid, I'd have to say minute, minute and a half to start burning, even just a little bit kind of thing. But right off the bat, it's definitely burning more so than not, that is for sure. And it has not been that long yet. It has not been that long yet, that is for sure. Um, right off the bat, um, right before it started burning, it just kind of felt like I just stuck a piece of plastic uh, on my lip kind of thing. And now it's actually starting to burn. Am I really getting any flavor from it right now? Um, I'd have to say flavor? Mmm... Not really right off the bat. I'm not really getting any sort of flavor right off the bat. Um, of course, the pouch isn't like completely soaked yet and everything like that kind of thing. That is for sure. And I'm just letting it slowly soak in. But, but, yeah. Not really getting any flavor right off the bat. It's just kind of burning. The burning is not too bad, though. The burning is not too bad by any means. It's not unhandleable. Uh, unhandleable. Let me just put it that way kind of thing. It, it's definitely burning, but it's not too bad. It doesn't hurt. Definitely had worse before my first time ever using 
Snus, <laughs> definitely hurt a lot more than this. That is for sure. And that was like Camel Frost, six milligrams, so not very strong at all. Um, definitely hurt more than this though. Um, this stuff, not bad at all. Not, not bad at all burning wise, at least right now. It might get worse, I don't know. Right off the bat though, I don't know if I'm feeling anything yet. I kind of feel like I am maybe a little bit. I don't know. I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to say in all honesty. It's kind of hard to say. Well, I'm kind of waiting for it to kick in though. I think I'm gonna go and grab myself a, uh, myself a little bit of a screenshot real quick though. And yeah, now that I've gotten that screenshot, hope that's a good screenshot, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's definitely starting to burn more now. It's definitely starting to hurt more, that is for sure. Yeah, that burning sensation right at the beginning, that was just the tip of the iceberg. It's definitely starting to burn now, more now. Um, I'm still not really getting any particularly distinct taste in my mouth. I'm definitely starting to notice a little bit of like a very, very, very light mint taste. Um, it doesn't quite taste like toothpaste or anything like that kind of thing. It's definitely a slightly different mint taste. Uh, what they definitely need to make, uh, what would get me hooked on nicotine pouches if they made uh, super intense buttermint flavored, <laughs> flavored nicotine pouches. I want that. I love buttermints. Um, I want a buttermint flavored nicotine pouch. That's what I want. It does not taste like buttermint though. It's, it's more like um, one of those red and white restaurant mints. That's this kind of more like it is just less sweet, less sweet than those that is for sure. Like an unsweetened version of, of a red and white restaurant mint, I'd have to say. Just squeezing it just a little bit from my cheek though. Am I really feeling anything right now? I don't know, I'm feeling pretty chill right now. I feel like I'm definitely feeling something. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Sometimes with like snus, I put it in and I'm like, I know it's doing something, but I really can't tell what it's doing. And I'm kind of in that situation right now, even though it's eight milligram and I haven't had a nicotine pouch or snus. And I want to say just about, whew, I want to say a month and a half, two months. Um, I used some last time I, 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 not last time I took a plane ride, but the time before last I took a plane ride. Um, because I couldn't smoke in the airport. And um, I definitely had this situation there where I was trying to I was trying to use it and I was just like, I was just not really feeling too much kind of thing. I was like, I feel like I'm feeling something, but I'm not really feeling too much kind of thing. And it's kind of in that same situation right now. I feel like it just hasn't quite hit yet. During that plane ride, I just opted to use some nasal snuff instead, which hits pretty good if I do say so myself. Right off the bat, I'm feeling pretty calm right now. I'm definitely feeling a little bit more chill. My head feels a little bit more clear at the moment. Um, so I'd have to guess it's probably hidden. I'd have to guess it's probably hidden, even if I, I'm not really noticing it kind of thing. It's hidden kind of thing. It's, it's definitely hidden, that is for sure. I will admit though, I am actually quite impressed at the price of this box. I think I paid $354 for this box. That's not too bad at all. That is significantly cheaper than most packs of cigarettes in my local area kind of thing. I don't know if taxes for nicotine pouches are just lower, if they're just purposefully pricing it lower to undercut cigarettes um, to get people using one or the other or both at the same time. Uh, wouldn't surprise me either way in all honesty. Um, as these are somewhat marketed as a uh, alternative to cigarettes, of course. Um, but, but, Yeah, not too bad. I definitely feel like it's starting to kick now though. Now that I've been talking a little bit kind of thing. Now that I'm really trying to notice it, I'm definitely feeling it now. It is definitely starting to kick. I'm feeling very chill right now, feeling very relaxed at the moment. It definitely doesn't come on as, um, as fast as I would like it to, but I feel like it comes on when it does come on. It comes on a lot stronger than nicotine pouches I've used before. Maybe it's just placebo because I heard that it's supposed to come on stronger. So maybe I'm just thinking it's coming on stronger because I heard that it's that it, that it does kind of thing. But I'm not sure in all honesty. I'm not sure. Interesting. Interesting that is for sure. 
it's definitely kicking though. It's definitely kicking. I'm glad I went for the eight milligram and not anything lower. I'm glad I'm glad I glad I went for the eight milligram. No, not too bad. Yeah. Hmm. I'm definitely feeling very chill right now. It's uh, of course not quite like a cigarette buzz kind of thing. It's, it's definitely more of a, a nicotine pouch buzz than anything. But um, I'd have to say right now I have a really nice heavy head buzz, um, and it's definitely. I feel like just going to keep getting a little bit stronger kind of thing. It's not fading quite yet. That is for sure. Um, I'd have to say right now that I have a pretty strong head buzz, um, which is actually more comparable than not to the head buzz you're feeling like when you're right at the end of a cigarette, which is pretty surprising if I do say so myself. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. That's pretty neat. Definitely different, but it feels more similar to a cigarette buzz than other nicotine pouches and snus I've used before. Definitely, maybe it's just the strength. Maybe it's just the strength of it kicking a little bit harder. But it's just, the strength of it is hitting me more like a cigarette rather than like snus or um, like Zin or something like that kind of thing. Interesting. My lip, though, definitely still burning. I'm not feeling the need to spit at all. And when I'm swallowing my spit, um, I, I don't feel the need to just, just spit it up kind of thing. When I'm swallowing my spit, I don't feel the need to spit. When I'm using snus sometimes, um, I feel the need to spit. Um, even though with a lot of snus, you're not supposed to uh, spit. That's uh, just uh, dip and chew and whatnot kind of thing. Um, you're supposed to uh, spit with dip and chew, I want to say. Um, but uh, with this, it's supposed to be spit-free, and I can definitely say when you're swallowing the spit, might be a little bit rougher than normal kind of thing, but not really all that much kind of thing. It's not one of those things where you got a tang in your throat and you're like, oh my god, I should have just spit that kind of thing, which I ha which I did have happen the first time I ever used uh, snus. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, definitely a little bit different than a cigarette buzz. I'd have to say it comes on slower of course it also um but but it, while it does come on slower it definitely does give you a very nice heavy head buzz like a cigarette does kind of thing and i don't have a very a big body buzz right now a little bit of a body buzz for sure but not anything significant it's more so than not just a head buzz than anything definitely comes on slower than not but faster than some snus i've used before and faster than zin i feel like as well um, but still slower than a cigarette, of course. But once it's hitting, it just starts hitting, and it's very, very, very strong kind of thing. Um, yeah. No, not too bad kind of thing. Not too bad. I was going to say something else, but honestly, this buzz is, is pretty good right now, and it's, it's kind of distracting me, and I can't really think of what to say at the moment. In all honesty, yeah, this buzz is definitely kicking. I ain't got no complaints on my behalf, y'all. Dang. Dang, this stuff's good. This ain't, this ain't bad at all. I like this. This is pretty good. Um, oh yeah, what I was going to say is the difference in buzzes, because while it is a heavy head buzz, it feels a little bit more calming than a cigarette buzz. A cigarette buzz is very calming. This feels a little bit more calming, because uh, while a cigarette buzz is quite calming, it also is a little bit energetic as well kind of thing. A little bit, a little bit, not too much. This more so than not is just purely calming kind of thing. There's really no energy kind of thing, but... Actually, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I've been sitting for the last like 20 minutes or so. But I am kind of feeling like I want to get up and do stuff kind of thing. I am kind of feeling like I want to get up and do stuff. Maybe there's a little bit of energy in there as well. I don't know. It feels more calming than anything, but I think there might be a little bit of like an energetic buzz as well. I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe. It's kind of hard to describe in all honesty. I'm trying to figure out a good way to summarize it. I'm trying to figure out a good way to summarize it. I'm going to grab myself another screenshot real quick. Definitely though, still burning. It's definitely still burning. And as I keep it in, it the buzz has not dissipated at all. The buzz has not dissipated at all. And in fact, actually, in the last couple seconds or so, it's actually gotten stronger. I'm actually quite impressed. I think I 
might have a good summary for what the buzz is like now. Alrighty, so I'd have to say the buzz is very much more so than not a heavy head buzz, almost like a cigarette. It's very much a heavy head buzz. And I'd have to say that the buzz is very, very, very calming, but also kind of makes you want to get up and do stuff at the same time. It's both calming and energetic at the same time. Which reminds me a little bit of nasal snuff. I'd have to say the snus I've used before and Zin, I want to say as well, is a little bit more calming than the buzz I'm feeling right now. It's a little bit more calming. I feel like this is a little bit more energetic than, than uh, snus I've used before and, and uh, Zin. The buzz is definitely starting to kick, kick, kick though, as I'm sure you guys can tell. I need a sip of water. And as I continue on with the pouch, swallowing my spit, it's definitely just getting a little bit rougher and rougher and rougher. I don't feel the need to spit out my spit, but um, it's definitely getting a little bit rougher. I could go for a sip of water, so I'm gonna do just that. It's definitely still burning though. Still burning my lip for sure. Wow, you can definitely tell it's, uh, it's hitting, that is for sure. I can definitely tell it's hitting, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Yeah. I'd have to say the peak is probably around about... It's been, uh, what, like 15 minutes since I put in the Zin? Like, I'd have to say the peak of... Uh, not Zin, sorry. <laughs> this is not Zin, this is on. Um, trying to think of a good joke now. I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not in Zimbabwe right now. I'm in, uh, I'm in... Ontopia. I, I can't think of a. I can't think of a good on joke. Can't think of a good on joke. Like Zin, they have so many. There's Zinnebago, Zimbabwe. It's a really funny kind of thing. But yes, I can't think of any good jokes. I can't think of any good jokes. Yeah. I definitely have to say the peak of the buzz, though, the strongest buzz, and it's still hitting. The strongest buzz still feels like it's getting stronger. I'd have to say from the 12 minute to probably. 16 to 17 minute mark, I'd have to say. That's my personal guess as to when the main strength of the on pouches actually come through. So it definitely hits a decent amount slower than a cigarette. In the time I've been sitting here, I could have smoked two, three cigarettes um, and gotten a comparable buzz. But um, definitely hits a little bit slower, that is for sure. But eh, not too bad kind of thing. It definitely... I would have to say, the I would have to definitely say the buzz feels more similar to a cigarette than to any other nicotine pouch or snus I've tried before, which is very interesting. Huh. Definitely still burning though. Definitely still burning. Spit's definitely getting a little bit rougher kind of thing. And the mint taste. The mint taste. I've almost forgotten to talk about the mint. The mint, it's not overwhelming. I'm just getting the normal sort of spit taste in my mouth. And in my mouth, other than the normal spit taste kind of thing, um, I do have a, like a very, very, very light sort of mint taste, as I said, kind of like a um, red and white peppermint, I'd have to say, from a restaurant. Um, but the main sort of mint taste is definitely in my lip, that is for sure. I'm not able to distinctly taste it, uh, just simply because that's not where my tongue is. But the spit that's dripping down, I can definitely, I can definitely, uh, taste a little bit of it kind of thing but my lip does just come off a little bit minty right now even though I, I literally can't taste it it's just coming off a little bit minty uh, and whatnot maybe it's just the burning I don't know but either way interesting but man I can definitely tell I'm buzzed right now because when I'm buzzed everything um, kind of comes into focus and I don't get buzzed like this very often, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I get, I get buzzed a decent amount. I don't get this buzzed very often. But when I am buzzed, everything kind of comes in... When, when I am this buzzed, everything kind of comes into focus. So I'm looking, like, over here at, like, there's a tree line over here kind of thing. And I'm looking at the tops of the trees, and the tops of the trees are at, just as in focus as the clouds above them. And then I'm looking at a tree in front of me right here as well. There's a tree right in front of me, and I'm able to make out the details. I see a branch up there, and that's just something I would not have noticed if I was not this buzzed right now and if I wasn't just looking around 
and just looking at all the trees, I can just see the skyline of the city I'm at right now in the distance and everything like that kind of thing. And I can just see all the trees. Everything is very much in focus right now, that is for sure. So I can definitely tell I am quite buzzed. Yeah, eight milligram on, it definitely does hit, that is for sure. It, it definitely hits. Let me, let me, let me tell y'all what, it hits, that is for sure. Dang. I don't think I'd want to use more than one of these at a time. At a time. I think the two milligrams, I could use like four at a time. Easy, easy. The eight milligrams, pff, I don't think so. I don't think so in all honesty. No, no, I don't think I'd want to use more than one of these at a time. At a time. I've used more than one Zen at a time. I've used like three of them at a time before. That hit, let me tell y'all what, that hit. I don't remember what strength Zen I picked up, but um, this stuff is strong. This stuff is strong. It's hitting y'all, it's hitting. Damn, damn. There's bugs flying around me. Get the hell away from me, bug. I'm trying to enjoy my buzz right now. I'm trying to enjoy my buzz. Don't buzz around me. I know they're trying to get the buzz too, but man, I want the buzz. I ain't let no bugs steal my buzz. Hell nah. And the buzzes I'm feeling right now is staying pretty consistent now. It feels like it's probably getting a little bit lighter kind of thing. I feel like we're kind of nearing the end of the on. I don't really feel like there's too much more going on now kind of thing. It doesn't feel like it's getting any stronger. The head buzz is kind of dissipating while everything is still very much in focus. Uh, it's starting to blur up just a little bit kind of thing. Yeah, I definitely have to say we're on the downtrend of the buzz now. We're on the downtrend of the, on, uh, of the buzz. And it makes sense as well. The pouch, definitely getting a little bit less uh, burning in my mouth, definitely getting a little bit less of a burning sensation on my mouth now. The spit is getting a little bit easier to swallow kind of thing. So yeah, we're definitely on the downtrend of the buzz, but since I'm keeping it in the, at the moment, the buzz is still going strong kind of thing. It's just not as intense as it was literally just a couple minutes ago kind of thing. Yeah, definitely, I don't think I would wanna use two of the eight milligram ons at the same time though. No way in hell, no no way, no way. I would not wanna use two of them at the same time. Ain't no way I would wanna do that. That would be too much for me. <laughs> that would be way too much for me. I'd probably get nicotine sick in all honesty. That would not be fun. One of them I'm chilling. Oh, oh, oh. I swallowed a little bit of spit, that was really rough. Well, that's quite interesting. As I take a sip of water, it starts to hit a little bit more. Interesting. Maybe it's just because my mouth becomes more moist and there's more spit to soak into my lip. I don't know. Interesting. Or maybe it's just placebo. I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. The buzz is still on the downtrend, but it did kind of rise up for a minute right after I took a sip of water. Just for a moment, kind of thing. Interesting. Yeah, I'd have to say, I think I'm gonna go and give, start giving you guys my final thoughts because the buzz is definitely on the downtrend now. So I'm gonna go and start giving you guys my uh, final thoughts on Zin. This has been my first time as a cigarette smoker ever trying, not Zin, this is not Zin. <laughs> this is not Zin. Um, this has been my first time as a cigarette smoker ever trying on nicotine pouches. And so what are my final thoughts on, um, on nicotine pouches? on on <laughs> what are my final thoughts on on nicotine pouches um after trying one for the first time um i'd have to say intenseness wise for how much they burn the in, uh, the inside of your lip and whatnot um it wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad i've definitely had worse but i've also used nicotine pouches before so um that might be why kind of thing that might be why but definitely did get a little bit of burning but not too much by any means kind of thing didn't actually start hurting and i've actually had snus hurt before like my first time i ever used snus it actually hurt 
This by no means actually hurt, that is for sure. Um, I'd have to say spit-wise kind of thing, the spit, sometimes when you're trying to spit, it can be a little bit rough kind of thing, but not the roughest I've ever had by any means. And I'd have to say buzz-wise, buzz-wise, the buzz is really good. It definitely, I feel like, came on a little bit faster than Zin and Snus I've used before, but not to a significant degree kind of thing. Definitely faster, but not significantly so. It didn't start hitting like two minutes after I put it in my mouth or anything like that kind of thing, that is for sure. But um, the buzz, I feel like definitely comes off more like a cigarette buzz. I definitely feel like it comes off more like a cigarette buzz. Really, really, really intense head buzz um, that can be a little bit overwhelming kind of thing, just like a cigarette buzz sometimes. Um, definitely though, cigarette buzzes sometimes put me to sleep kind of thing. Sometimes like my first cigarette of the day, second cigarette of the day, I start smoking, I get a buzz and I'm like, damn, I'm kind of tired now. This, I will admit, is very calming. The buzz is very, very, very calming, but at the same time, very energetic. It woke me up more so than anything, I will admit. And there's one other thing I wanted to say. There's one other thing I wanted to say. Oh yeah, I am get, definitely getting a little bit of a body buzz, but not too much of a body buzz by any means, just a little bit of a body buzz. And then I have to say overall, the taste of on um, definitely is most intense on where your lip is. It's not super intensely in your mouth by any means. I can taste a little bit of mint in my mouth, that is for sure, but not too much, uh, that is for sure. But um, yeah, not too bad if I do say so myself. Not too bad. Interesting. I'd love to see a, I'd love to see a nicotine pouch uh, with uh, caffeine in it as well. That would be that would be that would be insane. That would be nuts. I don't think the FDA would allow that. Um, but it says on the back, one nicotine pouch contains approximately eight milligrams of nicotine at time of manufacture. So I assume they mean that that can degrade over time, of course. Um, and yeah, so it, it doesn't contain any nicotine or, any, or not. It does contain nicotine. It doesn't contain any caffeine or anything like that, or at least it doesn't say. But I think it would have woke me up even more if this stuff contained some caffeine. That would be that would be absolutely nuts. I'm sure they make caffeine pouches kind of thing. Imagine combining nicotine and caffeine and putting it all in one pouch. That'd be crazy. That'd be like the most addictive nicotine pouch in the world kind of thing. Man, if the FDA would allow that, I'd try it. I'd try it, that is for sure. I would try one of those. I would probably get pretty addicted to it. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Because this stuff is honestly pretty good. I'd have to say, out of all of the snus and nicotine pouches I've tried so far, which granted isn't a lot, I've only ever tried Campbell Frost snus, snus and um, Zen nicotine pouches, but out of those that I've tried, um, this is probably my favorite so far. I like the buzz the most kind of thing. It comes off in a timely manner. It kind of comes on on a timely manner, kind of com comes, comes on a, on a timely manner kind of thing. Um, I like that, that is for sure. The buzz is definitely to my preference, as said, comes on in a timely manner. It's not super, it's not super hurting my lip or anything like that kind of thing. My gum doesn't hit it too, it doesn't hurt it too much. The spit is easier than not to swallow. I'd have to say more so than not, I like Zin. Or no, this is not Zin. <laughs> I keep getting mixed up. As I'm sure you guys can tell, I definitely am still a little bit buzzed right now. I think I'm gonna go and take it out of my lip though, because I think it's been just about 20 minutes now. So I'm gonna go and take it out of my lip. Just like that. And I'm just gonna put that down on the ground on top of the cigarette that I smoked right before this video. And it's gonna spit just a little bit kind of thing. I'm gonna go and wash my mouth out with, uh, my, wash my uh, mouth out with water. And you can really, really, really taste the mint once you take it out, that is for sure. I was running my tongue over it kind of thing. You can taste it, that is for sure. Yeah, you can definitely tell there was a, a very, very, very minty thing there now. And after running my tongue over it, the mintiness is just overwhelming to my tongue kind of thing. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Interesting, interesting. And now that I've taken it out of my mouth, the buzz is, is going away very, very, very fast. Like it has been going down for the last couple minutes or so. But, um, like, it's dev it dev hasn't been in its peak for the last, last, last while, that is for sure. But now that I've taken it out of my mouth, it's just completely gone away kind of thing. I'm still feeling a little bit buzzed, for sure, but not nearly as, as much as I was. Feeling a little bit buzzed, but 
nothing's really uh, as much in focus as it was kind of thing. Um, my eyesight doesn't feel as good anymore, that is for sure. Um, but, hey, I can't complain about that. If it gets a little bit too overwhelming, you take it out kind of thing and boom, you're all good kind of thing. You're all good kind of thing. Um, cause the buzz just goes away just that quickly kind of thing. That's just how quickly the buzz goes away. Literally like 10 seconds after I took it out of my mouth, the buzz just started going away so fast kind of thing. And I could just feel it going away. I was like, oh my God, like usually with a buzz kind of thing, with any buzz I'm used to from like a cigarette or something like that kind of thing, cause I generally smoke cigarettes, of course, but with any buzz I'm used to, um, it's generally like just kind of fades away kind of thing. No, this was like a waterfall going away kind of thing. It just rushed away. That's, that's pretty funny if I do say so myself. I don't think I really have anything else to say though about On. Um, I've had a pretty positive experience with On after trying it for the first time at least. Um, after trying this for the first time, I think I can say these are probably my favorite uh, nicotine pouches I've tried so far. Um, definitely my favorite. They hit pretty good kind of thing. I like how fast they hit. I like the buzz kind of thing. They hit pretty good. I ain't gonna lie y'all. I do have a limited um, experience with nicotine pouches and snus, so I do want to acknowledge. Um, I haven't tried real Swedish snus, I will admit, and I'm sure once I try that, I'll probably like that more than this. But, but, this has still been a much more positive experience than not, and I have enjoyed it a decent amount. If I'm planning on going somewhere in the future and I, I can't smoke or something like that kind of thing, I think I'm definitely going to be taking these with me as a uh, smoking alternative, and I'm definitely going to be, well, um, using it when I want some nicotine. But it's definitely not something that could replace my cigarettes, that is for sure. My cigarettes, they just hit too good kind of thing. They just hit too good. But overall, my opinion as a cigarette smoker, on on, it's much more positive than not, that is for sure. Let me know what y'all's thoughts are on on, on on. Let me know what y'all's thoughts are on, on in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the description down below, in the comments down below. Still feeling a little bit buzzed kind of thing. Still feeling a little bit buzzed. Um, but let me know what y'all's thoughts are on, on in the comments down below. Have you guys used it before? If you guys haven't, let me know what you guys think, uh, what, what you guys think about what I said about it in today's video. Uh, and of course, uh, please make sure to well, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my uh, second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. Vienna, thank you so much for watching, y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace. Have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying?